The Seraphon, or the Lizard Men as they were commonly known in the world that was, have gone through a drastic physical and spiritual change when arriving in the mortal realms. Their most notable change comes from their Starborn. The Seraphon appear far and wide as they always have been, big, bulking crocodile guys, tiny little hunting lizards, and obese frogs that could pop Professor Xavier's skull with their telepathic abilities. Among their kind are the Starborn. This group of Seraphon truly represent why this faction had their names changed. Like angels, the Seraphon mostly occupy the stars of Azir, looking down upon the mortal realms. They reside within grand star temples making up societies known as constellations. Seraphon born in these vast space temples are fused with the heavenly magic of Azir. They appear as manifestations of the realm rather than creatures of blood and flesh. Their scales shimmer like nebulas. Their spine and tails colored like chasing comets and their blood spilling out in starlight. These starry space lizards crackle with celestial energy, and similar to the Thundercast armor Stormcasts, they explode in a blast of pure starlight when slain. Slan, the obese frogs I mentioned earlier, have star masters which are able to conjure starborn into existence. From a cherished memory or long-standing legend, these psychic prophets are able to bind the essence of a starborn into a fitting reptilian form. When on a battlefield commanded by a Slan, the starborn are able to appear out of thin air, given life from the star master's powerful magic. The more summoned, the more powerful the connection to Azir, allowing an entire army's worth of heavenly reinforcements to appear. If you're interested in learning more about the Seraphon, this army of magical space lizards riding into battle on big dinosaurs, pick up Age of Sigmar, Stars and Scales from Cubicle 7.